everyone, Kim here with Winey Women doing a wine review today. We are going to be tasting Turquoise Mesa Winery, um, their 2010 Petite Syrah. They're loaded, uh, they're loaded, yeah. <laughs> they're located up there in the Broomfield Boulder area here in Colorado. Um, and I always, um, when I have soccer games, because my son's a soccer player, I always make sure I time my um, soccer playing with winery visits to make sure I can get all those in because I don't get to see these guys that often even though I live here so we're gonna try this one today um, I'm gonna take this on my trip tonight <clears throat> a couple of girls and I are gonna go up to the hot springs here um, and have a relaxing evening so I want to do some reviews so I could take the wine share this yumminess with my friends so um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, try the turquoise mesa and so Tom here we go Right off the bat, you can smell that um, that smoky, like toasty barrel kind of thing. Smells good. It's um, smells very luscious, like those jammy blackberries. Smells like that. Has a little uh, might have a little leather on it. What is that? Gunflint? Do they? Some people say gunflint. Like, how do you know what gunflint really smells like? Okay, well, look at this. It's a very, very deep, deep wine. Nothing is getting through that, which means it's one of Kim's um, qualifications that this is going to be a good chewy wine or at least a big full-bodied wine. So let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You get that smoke right on the beginning of the tongue. Mmm. It's almost like a, it's like a, like a chocolate covered cherry kind of feeling. Um, it's got that, a little bit of smoky, very woodsy maybe. Get a little vanilla on there. Mm. It's a very fruit forward wine. Does have a little grip on it. By grip I mean some tannins. Um, but they're not like at the beginning, they're like right in the middle of the tongue. Almost like um, this almost tastes like a um, like a date, like a fig or something like that. Those those fruits, you know, when you bite into them, they're really kind of meaty and just kind of yummy. Oh, Tom, this is good. This would probably go good with um, a steak because there's not. I mean, you get a, like a little residual pepper spice in the background, but it's n nothing. I mean, it's just like it's just like you you know it's there but it's just not really there so it's not going to overpower anything um i don't know a burger a steak maybe um i would almost if it wasn't nothing spicy though i don't think anything spicy would go but cheeses um pasta would probably go good with this too i know you know the whole red white thing but anyway i think this is i like this i'm gonna saute up some gnocchi tonight and uh, and uh, have it with this so um, great job Tom I really like the Mesa or the turquoise Mesa Petite Syrah I can't wait to share it with my friends tonight and um, until next time uh, go see Tom he's up there in Boulder Broomfield area they got a cute little winery um, last time I went we, they were tucked away in the back having their little party so I got to crash that but um, it was totally fun I loved it so next time you're up in the Boulder Broomfield area look up Turquoise Mesa tell Tom I sent you and go taste some wine and have a good time till next time cheers